in this tutorial we're going to cover how you go about setting up an A3 print from AutoCAD. Now typically you're going to do all your work on A1 sheets or A0 sheets or A2 sheets. An A3 set of copies or prints will only be reserved for what you keep um, for markup. So when we have reviews with you, please bring your A set of drawing, A3 sets of drawings, and those are the drawings that we're going to review and go through. You'll notice that if you set up an A1 sheet and you print it to A3, it's still very legible. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you go about doing that and setting up an A3 setting in AutoCAD so that you can print your A1 drawings to A3, which you can then print out in the Student Printing Center or you can print out in our computer lab on A3. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward and quite easy to follow. So the first thing you need to do, you'll notice when we do set up our sheets, we right click and we go to Page Setup Manager. By default, we're all using A1s at the moment and I've gone through how you go and set up an A1 sheet and how you apply to all your views. Now, if you wanna print these views on A3, all that you need to do is you need to create a new page setup so this new page setup, we're going to call this A3. And please, when you're printing A3s, do not submit these A3s online. Please submit the full A1 drawings for any online submissions. This is purely to print downstairs in our computer lab or in the print center or at home that you keep with you. So please keep an A3 set of drawings with you at all times. Okay. So basically, A3, DWG, PDF, you keep all the same settings as they are indicated here. The only difference is if we go to full bleed, so here in full bleed, you want to change this to a landscape and all that we have to do now is if you apply this fit to page and we uncheck that, make sure that you enable scale line weights. That's quite clever. It will scale the line weights according to the sheet. So it's, it, it'll keep the legibility of the sheets looking correct and it will reflect the true line weights as if you printed it on A1. Now, typically with the scale, it's one to two. So just make sure that it's one to two ratio. And if I go to preview, you'll notice that this A this A1 will print it on A3 perfectly and it will adjust the line weights and make everything read correctly. And you can see that everything is reading correctly and the line weights have come through quite nicely. And this is a good set of drawings that we can then mark up. Okay, so once we've established that, you can press close. However, if you wanna publish all of these, you can select all the tabs at the bottom and then you can right click on the tab and you can say publish selected layouts. Okay, now you just gotta pay attention to where you save this. This is important. You can see desktop. So I'm gonna make sure to save it. So make sure to publish it in the right location and make sure that all of the sheets selected. So select all your sheets. So click the top one and hold down shift and select the bottom sheet and make sure that you apply the A3 setting. Now, if you publish this, it'll publish into one document, is which what is what you want. I'm going to say yes, publish, and it'll publish it to my desktop. No, you can save the list and use it again. But for now, I'm just printing this as an A3, and you'll notice that this will work in the background. Once this is done, it will alert you that the the, the publish is done, and then you can go and open it. So I'll show you what this looks like once it's done. Okay, I've now got an error that the job has been completed. Now if I go to my desktop, and you'll see now it's printed out the complete set of these drawings to A3. And you'll see that the sheets will look like an A1, but if I use any of the settings in the view and I go to document properties, you will notice that these will be an A3. Now, if your units are not correct, you'll just need to go and specify, so this is on my side, so if I go to preferences, I must just change the units in reader change it to millimeters I just want to make point this out right click document properties you'll notice that these are all and what's neat is it's one combined PDF which is fantastic if you want to go and print downstairs okay so you can see it's combined all of these into one PDF so that's a great way to do multiple PDFs okay just remember you go back here and you just want to print this this sheet so remember you can go to page setup manager Make sure that it's set to A1 by default because you want to print these as A1s to PDF when you submit them. But whatever sheet you select, so close that, so whatever view you're in, and you go to Control P, print, or you click this icon at the top. Here you can simply change it to A3, and then you can print 
So again, I could just say print now, and then I can print this to desktop, and I'll just say one sheet. So I'm going to say A3 dash one sheet. Okay, so very straightforward. So if you want to print one sheet, pretty straightforward, and you can see the one sheet's printed. Okay, and this will also be right click um, document properties. You'll notice that this is also an A3.